yes. Um, it's for good cause. I know you had pre-orders. How many, yeah. How many pre-orders? About 700. Cool. Yeah. All right. So now they're going live. So. Great. It's a little crash course, crash course in entrepreneurship, you know, <laughs> trying to fill the inventory, see what we need. But it's been a lot of fun. My buddy, uh, you know, from high school is running it. His mom runs the charity and, and founded it. So, um, you know, it means a lot to me. And, you know, I think the hats are really cool, good product. It's great. Ted, yeah. how would you characterize, you know, that first game we played against the Steelers? You guys had in the preseason, didn't play much, didn't have the physical contact. How would you characterize the difference between that lying together, all new to each other, and what you saw yesterday? You know, I mean, it's a 10-week difference, you know, um, and, you know, obviously we have a, a rookie left guard who's not playing like a rookie anymore, you know, we told him, you know, rookie stuff is done, and he's really stepped up the challenge, played really great against a future Hall of Famer, and that's a tough matchup for any any guard. Um, and I really got to shout out Alex Kappa, I mean, uh, he, he was one-on-one, -on -one, you know, basically the whole game with, with nothing really coming from the right side, so, and our tackles, elite tackle play, uh, shut down those two guys who've had a lot of production, so, you know, this team, we're, we're, we're playing where we need to play, obviously there's some things, some run game stuff, maybe late in the fourth quarter we can clean up, but, you know, overall, you know, going out and, and grinding the win in Pittsburgh is, is a great feeling. You mentioned the tackles just now. I mean, how impressive was what they did against Highsmith and Watt, just kind of considering what those two guys are capable of? Really, very impressive. And, you know, that was a big, probably one of the biggest factors in, in beating the Steelers is shutting down their two defensive ends. So they did a great job. Really nothing out of them. Obviously, Watt makes another ridiculous play, but what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> You and Cordell's relationship is something that's been developed really strong since training camp. Seeing him go down, have that lead block down the field for Samaje's touchdown. What's your emotions as like a mentor? Um, oh, I'm just really proud of him. I told him that throughout the you know throughout these last couple of weeks, how he's been playing, how he carries himself, and you know he's a true professional. Obviously, going to be a very dynamic player for a long time. So um, he's playing the right way, doing all the right things, and uh, I'm excited, obviously, to play with him for the next several years, and then you know watch him, uh, you know, be be at the tops of his position for a long time. Jonas said that the the key to that game yesterday was a 92-yard drive, deep in your own territory, fourth quarter, and to be able to put a drive like that offensively together really dictated the rest of the game. What were the keys in that drive, Ted? First down efficiency. I, I, we didn't play in a lot of third. There, were, there weren't too many third down situations where you know teams can really dial up. But I, and then when we did get in, kind of second and longer, or maybe a third down, um, you know, handling the exotic looks and making you know Joe comfortable back there. You know, we just watched the film. You know, that, that's our goal is to make him feel comfortable and, and have space to really follow through. Because when you know, he throws one of the one of the best one of the best footballs around, and he was really dotting up receivers. And you know, I thought you know as an offensive unit we did a great job. Ted, offensive linemen don't have really easy measurables 